Hey guys, here's my fifth video in my Rangers series. Um, basically, in the last video, I was talking about you know the financial difficulties in the team where I had to sell players basically to be able to buy other players what I needed and stuff like that. And so you know the club didn't go bankrupt really. It was, it was literally as serious as that. You know the team were losing thirty-four thousand pound a week. So I wanted to quickly show you what I'd done. See, I'm in the green already. I've got a transfer budget of £119,000 now. And I've got an available transfer budget of um, £6,000, no, £7,000. And that was from like £34,000 in the red. So I've done a good job there. But I'll show, I'll show you the amount of players I've literally got rid of. So I got rid of um, Aaron McGregor, um, Dylan Dykes, Chris Egerty. Um I'm just basically t trying to tell you the main players. Kyle Hutton, K Kevin Kyle, who I didn't really want in the team anyway because he weren't performing too good. Um, Scott Gallagher, Dean Shields, who were a great young player. Um, Ian Black, who I didn't want to get rid of at all. You know, I actually really want to keep him a great defensive midfielder, which shows from Bristol, uh, Bristol City buying him. And I got rid of uh, Emilson, um, who was a really, at the time, was my second choice centre back because obviously I was playing a, a defensive midfielder and one centre back, no left back and right back. So I was only using him for cover, basically. But, you know, I'm really happy with the, the current financial status now. So. When the transfer ban is lifted, I'll be able to buy players as I want with no restrictions, really. Um, I'm going to show you my staff now because I've, you know, literally, we got I had to get rid of staff as well because the wages they were demanding. So I bought in other staff. Um, okay, Rangers. And we'll go down to staff. I've got the director of football is Eric Cantona, like I showed in the last video. Obviously, me as the manager, and as uh, I promoted Michael Barak as the assistant manager because he's doing a great job. Uh, I brought in Wayne Allison. Any um, Sheffield United fan will know who he is. He's uh, got a continental pro license for coaching qualifications, which is really good, and it'd be good for the the Rangers coaching staff definitely. Um, I brought in Owen Argrees, like I showed you in my last uh, video. And uh, guess what? I brought in the former manager. <laughs> I brought him in. And um, he wanted to come. I've seen him on the staff search, you know, when he searched for the staff. And he wanted to join as a coach. So having a Rangers legend in the coaching staff now would be great for the players. And, you know, it would be great for him back you know working to the club what he loves um, I brought in Dean Ashton and if um, you've never heard of Dean Ashton he was one of the most unluckiest people with injuries in my opinion I thought he were a great player you know he played for Norwich he was a great player for Norwich I thought he were anyway and uh, West Ham he could have done a lot better in his career but it was just literally the injuries what let him down towards the end I remember he went to West Ham for seven million, and he just didn't, you know, he didn't reach his full potential because of the injuries, which I hate. I hate that when that happens for players. It's horrible. And uh, I'll show you the start of the season so far. This is only really a quick video. I just wanted to tell you how I've got on, and I wanted to test my new microphone. Oh, I'm using the audio thing on my HTC, so hopefully it's a bit better than the microphone I was using with my laptop, which is terrible because it picks up a lot of um, background noise from the laptop, which is just completely unnecessary. I started off my pre-season with Queen, Queen of the South, 1-4-1, and then against uh, St Mirren, four days later, 1-1. One, one. Aberdeen, a good 2-2 uh, draw because the players were pretty tired. 
then a 2-2 draw against Linfeld or Linfield. And then I got back on track after a seven-day break against East Stirlingshire in the Challenge Cup first round. Won 5-1 there. And then against uh, Cowden Beef, <laughs> or Beth, Cowden Beth. That's how I say it. Uh, won them on penalties, which was a good result, to be honest, because the players were pretty tired after that. And, uh, you know, it doesn't matter how you win. It's just as long as you do win, I reckon, I suppose. Uh, against East Fife, 3-1. Against their 6 0, which were a great victory. Then we played at Cowden Beth again, 3 2. And then we won a Burnian 1 0 in the League Cup second round, which I'm really, really happy with. Uh, we snatched the victory there, basically in the 90th minute, from a header from uh, Sebastian Fair. So, you know, good start to the season. I can't wait for the transfer ban to be lifted. So I can just really start my season and um, what shall I say, just start building the team up for the SPL. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all your comments. I really appreciate it. I really like watching everyone else's videos as well. There's only like a few people I'm subscribed to who do football manager videos who I really watch. But I'm looking forward to subscribing to more people and watching their videos as well and uh, basically take it from there. So, uh, you know, thanks for watching the videos. Please leave feedback. Give it a like or a dislike if you like it or not. Um, cheers, guys.